Um, okay, tell us who you are and what you've built. I am David, and I have built this four-pole high-pass uh, voltage-controllable filter. And uh, this is, is actually yeah. a Polyfusion uh, design, Polyfusion Electronics Company, I guess. And uh, you, we had an experience here using these JFET buffers, right? Yes, we did. Uh, and so tell us what happened there. Well, at first we were using the uh, J201s, which is uh, was having a really bad DC offset on the output of each pole uh -huh. of the uh, OTAs. Right. And so to fix that, what we did was switch it out with a MPF uh, 102s. And did we did we come up with that decision through a scientific process, or did we just say, hey, let's try this and see what happens? Uh, yeah, that is a scientific process. Experimentation and uh, hypothesis. And, uh, yeah. It was very scientific. Do you think people will believe that? Some people. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so we, we switched the two ones for 102s and it started to work. So, um, so anyway, this is Aaron Landerman behind the camera. We're in the Senior Design Lab again. Uh, let's start with a, a ramp wave. And uh, what I'm going to do here is just uh, turn this up a bit. It's 200 hertz ramp sawtooth, and we're going to switch the cutoff. Oh, actually, let me turn the resonance down first here without the resonance. So here's... We're going to change the cutoff frequency here. Actually, let me turn this up a little bit more. So there he is. That's the high cutoff. And now we're lowering that. And let's, let's try it with the higher frequency thing, but let's turn this down so people don't hate us. Same thing with uh, square wave. Well, why is this ramp so boring sounding? Uh, I don't know. It's a triangle wave. Ah. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Let's redo that ramp setting. The symmetry was set. There we go. That sounds cool. That's a better sounding sawtooth. So let's repeat that experiment. Uh, we're still at 400 hertz. <laughs> so there's your high pass filter. Let's get this back down to 200s. Okay, there we go. Let's do the same thing you now with the square wave. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put in a bit of resonance. So now you can hear this typical synthy sound. So that's quite a bit of resonance, so let's put the ramp back in. I think we may be self-resonating. Yeah, we are. So I've just put in the output. Wait, output's off right now. Yeah, yeah. So this or is just... No uh, input to the circuit. Right, right, right. I mean, the output of the signal generator. So that's self-resonating. Let me turn that down so it's no longer self-resonating. It still has some resonance in it. Okay, there you go. Now let's put the uh, output back in. Ah, there we go. That's nice. So it's not self-resonating, but you can hear the resonance pop. Yeah. I just love that. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm just turning up the volume. Let's do the same thing with a uh, square wave. Okay, that's really cool. Um, just to show that it is doing what we think it is, here's a sine wave. And notice the sine wave is either there or not. You know, it, as the as cutoff yeah. is higher, it just disappears. Yeah, if we're... There it goes. So here, now let me boost the frequency in some more. Turn this up a bit. It then cuts so it off. What's the highest cutoff we have? Can we find that out? Yeah, uh, sure, I guess. Let's, um, let's see what we can make show. Uh, 
Uh, it's I can you can you can just barely hear it and see it on the scope. Max, uh, cut off? Yeah. So it's like, I guess, about 5 kilohertz. Yeah. But I mean, it's still pretty severely attenuated. Yeah. Um, so if we keep going, we'll get more of that uh, in. Ah, it's coming back. But that's kind of obnoxious, so let's crank this back down. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I also apologize to folks on the other end. I don't normally sound like I've been smoking all day. Uh, the entire Lanterman household is sick at the moment. Um, okay, so let's put in 200 hertz. Let me crank this back down. And... Um, mm. Of course, no voltage-controlled filter is uh, good without putting some, some voltage control. So let's plug in a... Uh... So this is coming from the MOTM, as we've historically done. Let me turn up the uh, cutoff offset. So that's at the top. Wait a minute, this is a sine wave. That's boring. There we go. Okay, now... Now we're cooking with gas. So here's uh, the CV input with the offset all the way up. I'm going to slowly lower the offset. Let's do the same thing with the square wave, starting low. Okay, that's with some resonance in there. Let's turn down the resonance. Uh, where's that? There we go. So this is the square wave, no resonance, lowering the offset. And here's a ramp. What else is there? Um, I guess to show off the resonance TV, maybe? Yeah.